Hello everyone, Mark here. I hope you're all keeping well. Now, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video today. I'm going to quickly unbox this. Now, I've got the Earsheen Legends. This is a four-channel, six-axis gyro RC aeroplane. Now, these things are quite popular, so I'm looking forward to um, getting it out of the box, giving it a nice close look and then taking it out for a good fly when the weather allows me to do so. So you've got three versions, you've got the Mustang, the Corsair and the Trojan. I picked up the Mustang because it's one of my favourites. Unfortunately they don't do a Spitfire. If they did a Spitfire without shadow of a doubt I would be getting that. Uh, but what I might actually try and do at a later date, if they don't bring out a Spitfire, is I might try and paint this and give it the uh, English paint scheme, the shark uh, Mustang paint scheme. But anyway, let's get it out of the box because I'm starting to waffle on a bit too much. Just a bit of information on the back here. It's got a 400 millimeter wingspan. It is 60 grams in weight, so extremely light. It's made out of a strong EPP foam. And I can tell you from experience from my other planes, uh, the EPP foam is extremely strong and resistant to crashes. Uh, it has a 10 millimeter cordless motor, powers off of a 3.7 volt, 360 mAh battery, has a 2.4 gigahertz six axis radio system, and gives you roughly 15 minutes flight time. And that's a great flight time on such a low mAh battery. So let's get it out of this box because I'm excited to actually see what it looks like. Okay then, so I've readjusted the camera. Let's have a nice close look at this. Now I must admit, I'm really happy with it. Uh, looks really cool. It is EPP foam, so you can tell it's foam, but to be honest, it's done quite nicely. Now, like I say, this is just an unboxing, guys. I'll talk a little bit about it, but I'm not going to do a full review because I personally think you can't do a review on something if you've never actually used it just by taking it out of the box. You can't really do a proper review, can you? Um, but yeah, so I'll take it out as soon as the weather lets me, and then I will do a follow up review. But I am so impressed with how it looks. It's so cool. And like I say, it is a four channel. So you've got your ailerons on the wings here. You've got your rudder, your elevator, um, and obviously your propeller here. So yeah, it's gonna be doing some really cool 3D flying. It's much better than my uh, my other airplane. I'll quickly show you my other one. This is my train start. Now this is only a three channel airplane. Really, really good fun. Still does loops, but um, I wanted to have a bit more um, acrobatic, a bit more true to scale. Um, and this really does tick those boxes. So I'll give you a quick look underneath here. You've got a servo which obviously operates your aileron. You've got another servo there that operates your elevator and your rudder. It's your battery compartment just like so, and it runs off of these 3.7 volt, 3000, uh, sorry, I wish, 360 mAh Lipo batteries. I've got loads of these because basically my little drones run off of these as well. Um, so yeah, got loads of those. I did order the free battery version, so there should be spare batteries, yep, spare batteries in the transmitter. And as we've got the transmitter in my hand, why don't we have a quick look at that? It's just a basic cheap transmitter, quite a plasticky feel, but it's the same transmitter as my train start, and it actually does the job. It's not um, a professional transmitter, but you can actually bind these to some proper transmitters as well, which is another good thing. But you've got an um, aerobatic mode here, so if you press that, press uh, left or right or up and down you can do flips or rolls but because it is a four channel um, aeroplane you can turn the, um, the gyro off and have it in full acro mode um, so that's what I'll be doing and here's your switch here you've got your beginner so you've got six axis stabilization so basically what would happen when the aeroplane is turning your elevator your rudder everything like that would kick in and it would balance itself out which is perfect for beginners um, but you can turn that 
all the way off or you can pull it into um, medium mode as well so it's basically not as strong but yeah basic transmitter but does the job now you've got some landing gear here so let's quickly put the landing gear on cool that's tight tiny little holes for that to go in just like so and then you've got some screws that you would screw the landing gear into place bend them into the right position and job done but well, that is it that looks so cool so cool the prop you do get a spare prop as well and it has a quick release mechanism just like so so basically the idea if you crash land this pops off so you don't damage anything but you get a few spare parts just in case you do but these are super tough super tough i'm really really impressed with that that looks so cool it's going to look really cool in the air as well and like i say guys once i've flown it as soon as the weather gets a little bit better i'll do a follow-up review anyway but that's it for me guys just wanted to do a quick unboxing okay so that's it for me guys thank you so much for watching happy rc and stay safe take care Bye bye